Welcome to Quick Learning. Uh, today we are going to learn another very useful transaction that is used in plan maintenance module that is IA03 which is used to display the maintenance plans and the task lists for any equipment. In our plan maintenance you know we have different equipments and all these equipments need some type of maintenance, inspection, tightening, cleaning, etc. And every manufacturer recommends uh, a plan and a schedule to do these maintenance inspections and checking all these. So SAP provides us a platform to create a task list in which we can define each activity by its time duration and we can enter all the components that are required in each activity so in this way uh, for this transaction ia03 we can display and check the task list of any equipment that is already defined in our uh, sap pm module we will start by writing ia03 in our transaction tab and we will press enter you will see uh, this window will appear in front of you and it is asking us straightforwardly the equipment number. If we know the equipment number we can just write here and uh, we will be able to uh, ob to check any uh, task list for this particular equipment. For example I know, a, I know some certain equipment this one and I will be able to see the task list for this equipment by pressing enter. After pressing enter you will see that a complete list will be available in front of you. So what this does this, this uh, task list has? This is the equipment number. This is the name of the equipment. This is the group number and this is the name of the machine, the technical specification. Going forward, these are the activities that are defined. This is the number of activity number and this is the, its description. The first one is clean the fan filters, second is check and clean the spindles, other is change the spindle support washer, next is check the air conditioner and going forward all the of these are the activities that are already defined for this particular uh, equipment. So for the next stage we want to see what is the timeline or the execution schedule of each activity. For this we will go down here the maintenance package overview and we will click on it. When you will click on it you will see this table where each activity is written and in front of that we have some time durations already defined. So this is one month, this is two A is two months, three A is three months, six A is six months, one year is one Y is one year. So against each activity we have a checkbox that is marked and in this way we will be able to see that after how much time this activity is to be performed on that particular equipment. This is after two months, the second one is after one month, this third one is change the spindles is after one year. The next five are after one month. This is the three yearly maintenance, a generic name. This is after three months. And uh, going forward, you will see that each activity is categorized with some particular uh, number. And the, that number is the time after which we have to perform that, that activity. Another exciting thing is if we want to change any components in that activity where these are listed and how we can further enter any components against any any uh, particular activity for that you just have, have to uh, click on that particular activity line item and you have to select this component overview button so when i press this you you have you will see that if any components are defined in that then this these will be written over here so you can what you can do is right now uh, let let us check some other as well and we will see if some uh, data is entered in them or not 
so we'll see in most of these there are no components entered in these so there are two cases either there is no requirement for the replacement of any component or this data is not entered properly uh, let us uh, check one or two more and we, yes we, 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 we it's clearly visible that this data is not filled properly uh, and so what should we should do now in the next step and in the last video we have learned how to change this equipment task list so what we can do is we can open any equip component and in the change transaction IA02 we will enter the material numbers or the components that are required to change in this activity and we will enter the quantity as well so what it will do it will automatically create a maintenance order and a plan order for those particular components after that particular period of time so in this way you will be able to check to display the equipment task list for any particular machine and equipment so this i hope this has been very useful for you this is the case when we know the equipment number for example if we do not know the equipment number but you know we maybe remember by its name what we can do is we can just search it manually you know we click that button we can just enter the function location here if we know that for example i write prd 0098 if that is the correct one if it shows me some data uh, let me try once again so it is not showing me let me enter the plant here it will be a very vast field but it will be it, it will help us to you know search for any uh, particular the equipment task list we will go here for for to search for the function location or the maintenance plant i will write maintenance plant here 3003 and now it will show me all the function locations and the equipments so but on the first step it has shown us the function locations here i will select this function location here i will press execute button here and what i will do uh, i will press execute button and you will see that a complete list of equipments that are defined against this particular function location will be visible so you will see that this is the equipment numbers these these are the task list so you can select any equipment for example i select this one i will select this then then it will appear here so to find the equipment number there is a certain other procedure that i have done by pressing this button here now I know the equipment number, I will just press enter and the maintenance task list for that particular equipment will be displayed here. You, see, you will see that this, these are the activities that are required to perform for this particular equipment and for the maintenance package, you need to press uh, check the maintenance here and it will show you that these are the timelines that are defined for each activity. These first five are four after one month and next three are after one year. You can check any uh, components if they are defined by pressing this. So you, 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 it's clearly visible that these uh, components are still not entered uh, in uh, this section. So you have now clear understanding how to check the maintenance task list of any equipment using IA03 command. And in previous video, we have learned how to use IA02 to change any equipment task list. So for any question you can just write in the in the comments tab please like and uh, share this video and please subscribe to our channel until next time bye bye